Hey, what's up YouTube? This is the Wolfinator here, and welcome back to Slender the Arrival. Now, you may notice that the main menu looks a bit different here compared to last time. And that is because we are playing on the 10th anniversary update, also known as version 3.0 of the game, which was completely remade in Unreal Engine version 5.2 and features a massive visual overhaul, as well as a new chapter. And there's even more stuff coming soon, including multiplayer and more chapters. Very excited for that. Now, this video will be edited and uploaded in multiple parts, to hopefully avoid multiple days of rendering and uploading. Uh, not referring to any video in particular here, haha. <laughs> but with that said, I hope you still enjoy. And without further ado, let us get into the game and see how we go. So often are we guided by our devotion, our love, our affection. A bond that pulls us down paths not bargains. And when you find yourself alone, as he casts out that bedeviling gaze, how far will it carry you? Look at that, man. Wow. Wow. Just... Absolutely beautiful. Like, the original game still looked good for its time, but this is just another level entirely. Blue Isle Studios proudly presents... Hmm. In association with Parsec Productions. The one thing I will say is that the run feels a little bit funky, like just the movement. Alex Tintor, Brendan Frank. The God Rays. The car. The shadow movement looks a bit more natural here. Like the character model's shadow movement. Although you unfortunately cannot see the player's legs. Like, looking down. It's pretty bright even though this is supposed to be night time. I should keep an eye out. Oh, that definitely looks... Like a re-render. Oh nice, you have like a read feature here. Yeah, that definitely has changed from the original game, that picture. Wow, this looks a lot more run down. Hey Kate, it's been a while since we last spoke, hasn't it? 
Hope you haven't forgotten about me. I know writing a letter is a little old-fashioned, but sometimes I like to just sit down and write something out, you know? So, I can't remember what I was doing at the time, but all this stuff we used to do when we were kids just came rushing back to me all of a sudden the other day. Remember when I'd sneak over at night so we could both go out on our adventures? Ghost hunting, we called it. We'd shine the flashlight through the trees and jump at every little insignificant noise. Our imaginations were always working in overdrive. I wish I could rewind to back then. Seems like everything after that time just hasn't been as good for both of us. How long has it been again? It's been at least a couple of years, hasn't it? She was always kind of mean to me. Maybe she actually knew about us sneaking out all the time. Guess we'll never... Sorry, ignore all that. I started rambling too much. Anyway, please let me hear from you soon. I know things have been less than normal for you lately, so I just wanted to check in. See ya. I think this read feature is pretty nice. Ah yeah, because you can then clearly see what it was saying. Like if you find it hard to read the handwritten text, you can use the read feature to read it more clearly. That will help out on one particular letter that I can remember from uh, the homestead level. Where it was written in very heavy cursive. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for coming out all this way to help me out. It's been a pretty rough road trying to sell this old place. I wish I had turned to you sooner. You have no idea how happy I'll be once this is all behind me. Love you always, Kate. A nice little thank you letter from Kate. Although she is not present at the moment. Oh, that is so creepy. <laughs> I love it. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. This is one thing that I was thinking about. Uh, oh, no, never mind. So it seems, it seems like the outside is darker when you're in the house. They might be applying that same technique that I pointed out in the original game. Uh, when you go into the Matheson house. The burned out one. Well, this piano has certainly got an upgrade. Like, that's massive now. This door needs a key. Okay, phone. Let's see if this got new voice acting. Zero new messages. One old message. Hey Kate, see you again. I hope everything's okay. I know there's been a lot to take in and wrap your head around. It'll be good when Lauren gets there to help you sell the house. Take a little load off your mind. Give me a call when you get the chance and we can talk. Take care. Press one to delete. Two to return to the main menu. Okay, it's the same voice acting. This looks m pretty much the same. Some flies buzzing around there. Honoring the life of Beth Hayes, October 18th, 2009. 9am, Grace Hill Cemetery, 615 Everson Street. Pastor John Taylor. So yes, Beth Hayes is Kate's mother. Uh, 
Huh. Here's a flashlight. That's definitely a new model. And obviously a new flashlight cookie for the actual like appearance of the light. Okay, you still cannot turn on or off the light switches. Okay. Thanks for calling last night. It probably sounds dumb, but it was good to hear your voice again. Good to hear that Lone's been doing really well too. But yeah, about what all we said. I'm not sure what to think of it yet. What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Could it really be a coincidence? I have to go to my doctor today for some routine stuff, so I'm gonna try and casually bring it up to see what he says about it. I'll let you know how it goes. See ya. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, not gonna do that. <laughs> Radio is still cursed. Wait, what? Doors do not do that. Immersion ruined. <laughs> but yeah, the house definitely looks a lot more run down than it was in the original game. Like, it feels like in this game it hasn't been lived in for a while. Whereas uh, in the old version, it felt like it had been like lived in and then just recently abandoned. Here's the keys to Kate's room. Bath water. So it's different. Who is running two bars in here? Who is wasting so much water? Absolute atrocity. Oops. I saw Mr. Slenderman out there. To the woods. Oh, that looks different. Like the gate in the previous game was like a giant, like wooden gate, like just solid. What's this? Kate, I want to see you again. I can't stop thinking about you, Kate about us. I'm sorry for what happened in the park. Maybe I shouldn't have said those things. I know you may not feel the same way, but I don't want to let you go. I hope someday you'll change your mind. I'll be here waiting for you. Please, just think about it some more. I have so many things I want to share you. So many things I want to share with you. I want to protect you. I hope we can at least still be friends. Yours truly, Carl Ross. Wait a second. Was this there uh, previously? Did I do a dumb and just forget about it? <laughs> when I was playing through the old version? 
I don't know if that was always there. I'll have to validate that at another stage. Like, I grabbed a backup of the old version, so I can uh, take a look back at that and see if that note was right there. And I just somehow missed it. Because <laughs> I know that I know that the note was in the game that reveals CR's name is Carl Ross, but I can't remember if it was there or if, or if it was at another point in the game. What can I interact with? A car? Oh, it's the window. <laughs> I was like... Yeah, it's the window. <laughs> I was like, I can interact with the car? But no, it was just the... It was just the window behind the car. Uh, can I change my controls here? Is yep, key bindings. I want to change crouch to C. There we go. That feels more natural. As someone who has been playing Phasmophobia for quite a long time. <laughs> One thing I notice as well is that the flashlight takes longer to take out. I remember playing on this swing set with Kate when we were kids. And of course, we have to go out to the slayer. Okay. Kate. Both my computer and phone have been acting weird lately, so I figured I'd do it the old-fashioned way again. Glad we could meet up to talk things through. I agree with what the doctor said too. There's an explanation for this stuff. The shared traumatic event sounds the most logical to me. That night out there in the woods is probably what caused it. I had almost completely blocked it out, but now it's kind of coming back to me. Like I said before, it's still really foggy. I think the best course of action right now is to just ignore it whenever you think you might be seeing things again. I'll try to do the same. That'll probably do the trick. See ya. P.S. You should call Lauren sometime. I bet some company would help out. <laughs> oh, that's good. Going down the slide. Gives you the message. That was fun. I should probably find Kate. Uh, okay. Now, I don't know if the death message is still in that spot I found it. In the old version of the game. But I'll probably... Um, I'll probably look back at that when I go for the secret level later to see if the secret level is still there. You can actually see quite a lot, even without the flashlight. At least in this part here. Okay, the generator model has definitely changed. And this definitely feels less like hills now. Because, like, I think it was more hilly in the old version of the game, whereas this is more like actual, like, mountains. Okay. Fatal Blaze erupts at Oakside Home. Arson suspected. Oxide fire crews say a blaze at a southeast home resulting in one death may be the result of arson. Fire broke out at the home, 
located just east of Oakside Lake at 11.30 p.m. Neighbors who knew the man living in the home, currently the only known fatality as agitated and abrasive, he lost his son so many years ago. Since then, he never really acted the same. He would always claim to see his son standing outside his window, staring in, said Kim Rolick, a neighbor who has known the man for 20 years. Authorities say Charles Matheson, 47, died of smoke inhalation. His body was found in the basement of the home shortly after the fire crews put out the blaze. And then the rest is illegible if there was any more. Okay. But yeah, those lights are a lot brighter. I just cannot get over how much of an improvement this is. Like, it is such a massive upgrade for the visuals compared to before. So where is Mr. Slendy Man? He hasn't been appearing on the hills or mountains, rather. At least I haven't seen him. He hasn't tried to pick a fight with me. Another picture of Charlie Matheson. There you are. Okay, so it still prevents you from actually... Wait. What? <laughs> you can kick around the traffic cone. Oh gosh. <laughs> But yeah, it still, it still prevents you from actually going into the water. Over here. Okay. So we should be coming to the burned out Matheson home. And there it is. I can see it. Instead. Uh, so this is where you'll actually need the flashlight because the game darkens the lighting in here so that you can't see as much. And... Oh! That was a new picture. That was a new picture of the Matheson family. That was two. Two different pictures. So. Well, I think that one might have been the same one that was previously in the game, but yeah. There was definitely a new one that flashed onto there.
I will have to take a look at those pictures later when I go through the um, when I go through the video because I am recording at the same time so yeah uh, can I walk through this? yeah there we go what is wrong with this place? why did this happen to us? No answers anywhere I look. Am I crazy? These things I see at night. I don't know what to think. Ever since Charlie disappeared and Diane left, I must have hit a breaking point. I still keep looking. I still hear him sometimes. That cute little laugh. But he's been gone nine years. Why does every day have to hurt so much? Charles. This is a thing where I already kind of knew what was written because of how I read it last time, but yeah. This is one example where the read feature would definitely come in handy. Because that was much harder to read than it was in the original game. But yeah, they do the same thing here. So, you see outside the house it's nice and bright. And then when you step inside the house, the lighting is very dark. Okay. Oh, this looks a bit different. This looks um, more developed than it did in the original game. Like it actually looks like a construction area for houses. Anyway, residential development takes hold on Oakside Park outskirts. Oakside is about to welcome some new residents. With all lots now purchased, some developments are set to begin this spring. Six new homes are expected to go up over the next year, with more to follow. The new homeowners will be the first new residents of the area since a fatal blaze four years ago that resulted in the death of one man. We couldn't be happier to bring new life to the community, said Robert Valadier, chairman of the Exide Village Community Development Group. We're pleased to welcome all the new families who want to call Oakside home. And they even have concrete flooring in already. So yeah, that's definitely one thing that has changed. I saw the glitch. Where is he? Slendy man, you picking fights with me? You trying to pick a fight? That looks mostly the same, I think. Those, uh, fences look, uh... They look like the ones that, uh, were used in the original game, just visually upgraded, of course, but yeah. Huh. Interesting. They put like little subtitles up for the science. Find me, Lauren. He came for me. Why didn't I listen? He was right. He said this would happen. Help me. Need CR. He knows how to end this. 
Come find me. Don't let him in. And there we are. The title sequence once again. And with that, we are done with part one of Slender the Arrival. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I make another upload. And if you want to catch more of my content, I also live stream on twitch.tv slash Walshanio every Tuesday and Friday at around 7pm Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. And if you want to get notified on when I'm going live in advance or see work in progress for my art and game dev, I usually post that on my Twitter. And if you want to join our community Discord, that's also linked in the description. All you have to do there is click on the invite link, read through the rules and verify yourself to get access to the rest of the server. With that said, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye guys. Bye bye, have a good one.